Okay, so am I broadcasting? I am. Oh, wow. Recording, that is. With Mr. EVO here, too. Behaving himself. Ah, rain, rain, rain. I get so sick of it. I need sunlight for forever. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, I've been doing a lot of work in the last... Ever since I got out of the hospital, I was bedridden for a month after hospital. Kind of, slowly curing. I had a knee infection and had to be operated on. That was kind of an adventure for your mind. For my mind, anyway. Kind of interesting situation, you know? But it's uh, healing. Boy, I'm using, I've been active, so active, I've done. Harding lathe got that restored and many other things done and finished up and electronic stuff and other things so and I made that periscope you saw in the other video. I wanna see if you guess what that was at one time. Mm hmm Can you? Oh, so I see the Donald keeps getting in deeper and deeper stuff. I never liked the man. I knew he was a fake. Ever since the... That's why I didn't go on a stupid show. The Apprentice. Nah. nah. And uh, many noble people. As rich as Trump. But really noble down there. And really honest people. Who? Oh, you can guess. Check out, you know, who I hang around with. But anyway. Other than that... I think he's going to go to jail, I think. He's... What a rotten... Well, he deserves, it, after all, the harm he done to many people with his um, Nazi police trying to kick out of the people out of the country. And... A very evil man. But I mean, anyway, leave it at that, huh? Humans are so, sometimes so stupid in their pattern of thinking. And they love killing each other too. But anyway, on to other things. I fully enjoyed uh, Colonel John Alexander's six hour interview. Brought back a lot of memories. I've been friends with John since 1983. Wow. I got many letters from him and emails over the years, so hopefully we can meet in person. Maybe when this is an operation doing its weird Hutchison effect stuff. Not named by me, but by scientists who found out about it. Come to film it and write up articles on it and that kind of thing, so hmm. Like that. Uh, so, I really trust his judgment. Oh, uh, that's what I was going to talk about. I, his friend Jack Howe passed away, but I had a nice dinner with him and I think it was 89 with Ian Gazdak. Ah, uh, so I was going to talk about the history of Woodland School. Built in uh, 1878, I think. Provincial Insane Asylum. A lot of um, abuse and death happened there, okay. Um, I'm witness to some stuff somewhere else in Essendale, some staff beating patients up until they're half dead, you know. I saw that on C. Ford, West Lawn Ward. When I got out of there for a week, I was put in there for punishment. Because I wouldn't go to school yet. Riverview. I did uh, tell Constable Brookbank and the RCMP the full story. I read it on them and they threatened me too. But it didn't go anywhere. I told Constable Brookbank they're starting to threaten me now, so he put me under protective authorization. But it does go on at Woodland School. It killed a lot of people, kids, you know. So, Woodlands. Lamalee and I and Corinne Tyson, we broke into the place 
kind enough to get not allowed to go in it, but the door was open, so he went in and spent hours checking the place out. And we saw and felt things too. I saw a bright, sunny, kind of sun colored little thing like that, maybe that long, it was spiraling like that, with steam or something coming, going around it. And the two wit girls were behind me, said, Oh, we're going to stand behind you. And I, and I, I don't know what it is. I said, I have no idea. Could be some kind of a feel stress light or some weird stuff, but yeah. Um, Woodland School. Uh, Willie Picton, mass murderer in British Columbia, Canada, hung around there, kind of, kind of his brother Dave Picton, because Woodlands had a cemetery. He just bulldozed it all into the ground, like turn it all over, and, and by whose orders, I don't know. Maybe the contractors that were going to build condominiums there or something like that. It was used in the TV show X-Files, it's some of the paintings that, um, actually it was about a mental hospital. On the X-Files story, I forget the name of the whole episode, but they made a big mural a weird abstract mural. I saw that in Woodlands when I went in there to examine everything. So anyway, Woodland was there, really spooky. I could go on and on, but I shouldn't. I've got kind of time problem. I'm not ready, Bill. You want to come up and kiss me? You want to come up and kiss me, little fella? Hi, is that you there? That is you there. Look at that. That's you, Evio. Amazing little doggy. Very intelligent little fellow, aren't you? <laughs> you're just trying to figure out if you're going to jump up here, right? What? Oh, right, we're going to go home in a little bit. Is that okay? <laughs> is that okay, little fella? What? You tell me a story. But anyway, Woodland School. It self-destructed the fire of 2008. I'm kind of limited time, but... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Nibbles, I presume. You're a little nut. Where are you going now? But, yeah, I'll just do a video on it someday, um, the whole history of it. But. <laughs> You're a good boy. Are you a good boy? Are you in focus there? Where are you? Well, same to you. He's out in the rain and he gets soaking wet like he had a bath or something. I dry him off. Keep him warm. We don't get him cold. He likes nibbling. That means love bites of some kind. Oh, I'm so pretty. Oh, leave me out, love. Come on, be good. Ugh. Come here. I'm kissing him. He about, weighs about 25 pounds. Miniature Aussie. Shepherd dog. He's got a good friend at, uh, Wild West Express. Eagle visits. Don't you? And see Heather and... <laughs> and others there, huh? You see Heather? You like Heather? You like Heather? Sullivan? You like Sullivan? I'm kind of memory blocked. Oh, what a China dude. Come on up here. Whoops. I'm right under that, huh? Let's do it over some under your feet. Pulling on the cable. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, you're so cute. I know, I know, I know. 
Mm-hmm. It tells us before I go to sleep at night, too. That's a faith-looking thing. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about your loves. Let's make sure it's still plugged in after you jumped up there. It is, so we're going to have to get my vitamins down and go off for dinner, Mr. EVO. So I enjoyed um six-hour interview with Colonel John Alexander. Learned a lot, too. Brought back lots of memories of things that I got involved with. And a lot of cool stuff like that, so. Hey, go, who's that? Who's that? Go get him. Go get it. He's too smart for that. And he's nice, pretty nice in the shop here. He usually lays around and dreams and has funny poop. <laughs> Are you trying to tickle me, love? Come on, be good. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Do you want to, EBO, do you want to go see Heather? Do you want to see, uh, I can't remember your buddy's name. There's Sullivan? Do you like Sullivan? God, he did it again. Come on. Do you like Sullivan? Do you like Sullivan? There's a female shepherd there, too. They get along fine. Wow. Oh, it need to be good. I'm going to check what time it is to get those vitamins down. And... Oh, we did uh, 12 minutes, so we should get, uh, I should get my vitamins down, right, EBO? EBO! EBO! Open that block. Mr. EBO! Mr. E.B.O. Let me get this out of the way. Mr. E.B.O. Oh, you can, you can hear the rain. It's terrible all day long. I do good living in a, a desert country. Oh, so how am I doing here? Getting healthier. Please calm down. EBO. Oh, EBO. 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 Hey. No. Little fella. Little fella. No breastfeeding. No breastfeeding? Why would I say that? <laughs> Breastfeeding? My breasts are not that big. Oh, John, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, don't you stop it. Hi, it's Carl. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? <laughs> He's pretty naughty, though. That's funny, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Nibbles. Oh, Lordy. Oh. Hey, what's that? What's this? Ooh. Uh oh, I shouldn't have shown that something else. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, down. He has to get involved in this stuff, too. Right? Mr. Nibbles? Mr. Nibbles! Do you want to go see Sops and tilts his head when I say, do you want to go? 
Do you, here we can try and show it off. Evio, do you want to? Do, hey, I'll put you in the sink. I'm gonna be good. I wonder what he does in the sink. Do you want to go in the sink? Wiggling on all the face there. Put you in the sink. Where are you now? Well, you want to go in the sink? You can't turn it around. Do you want to go in the sink? Oh, now you're relaxed. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. A little paws and whiskers, you know. I love all animals. They're kind of cool. They're funny little things. You want to put, put, I'll put it in the sink. Yeah, well. Hey, no biting. Come here. Mr. Nibbles. Mr. Nibbles. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's jump like that. Oh, Mr. Nibbles. Come on. Oh, I should get going, right, Evo? Hmm? <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna go, but I think. Oh, the quarter shoes. Is that? Mm. Come on. Let's go. Let's put you on the table. Go up there. Go up there. Check out the radio. Thank you. Get up there. <coughs> what do you got? What are you talking about? Hmm? New technician. The new tech, where did it go? I gotta plug one in. PVL, do you want to turn the radio on now? Okay, gotta go, folks. Welcome to Mr. EBO. You know where the lens is on the stupid thing. Okay, okay. Here I go. Where is the lens? <laughs> Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Oh, that got his attention. He likes the ball. <laughs> He's a woozy. Willie's a woozle. <laughs> you know, you know he just gets on the floor and rolls around. Anyway, I should get going. Okay.